This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal. We're here today at Corn College and I'm talking to Bill Bauer with B&M Crop Consulting out of Coldwater, Michigan. And Bill, you were telling me about uh, just the issue that farmers are probably experiencing right now who had that uh, straight winds go through last week. I think it was July 11th. Uh, what, what's happening now that they're, they're experiencing uh, pollination with that corn? Yeah. One thing, uh, we had a lot of calls once that storm went through. Um, one thing that made that storm a little unique compared to a lot of straight winds we, we get is we had a few tenths of an inch of rain that come through before the heavy winds loosen the soil up. Then we got another system that come through with heavy winds and rain and tipped a lot of that corn over. Um, and it looks sick for a few days, but most of it has popped back up. Uh, that corn has an amazing ability to straighten itself back out, um, especially uh, most of the corn that was hit in the V10 to V12 stage, uh, we'll see a little loss on that as far as damage from the wind, um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 2 to 10 percent. Um, luckily, a lot of it wasn't in the uh, VT to R1 stage where we're trying to pollinate and it gets knocked over. It doesn't have enough time to stand it back, itself back up. While it's pollinating, it puts a lot of stress on it and can be up to 30 percent damage at that time. So, um, the corn that has popped back up, uh, you really need to do this week while it's pollinating is go out in your fields and take a look at your ears. Since that corn's been knocked over and standing back up, that ear isn't going to be at the same uh, orientation on the plant compared to corn that didn't go down. So the pollination is going to be a little tougher, especially on the bottom sides of the ears. So you want to be out looking for uh, corn. Uh, rootworm beetles, clipping silks, Japanese beetles, and making sure you have enough silks on your plants that you're going to pollinate those ears. All right. And is there at that point, you know, as far as pests, anything that they should be uh, doing as a result? Yes. If we've got uh, silks clipped down this tight, we really need to get uh, plain in the air and get some insecticide on and take care of the pressure that you have out there. All right. Well, All right. thanks for your time, Bill. Appreciate it.